But having Zoe there is like having an entire team that just pump you up, get you excited. No, it's been really awesome. Um, I've really enjoyed it. You know, like we get in the bus and it's speaker on, music on, just having a little vibe while we're, while we're driving to the race, things like that. Clara is, is the quiet one. Uh, Zoe is the, the opposite. And uh, you see at the end of the season, Clara was uh, not that quiet one anymore because she was always on the road with her. So. Honestly, just doing like cross training with her in the week and things like this as well, it's just, just really fun. We just make it, make it fun ourselves just by our characters, you know? The practice, the train with, nobody really pushes me as hard as she does. Uh, for the, Clara, yeah, she was sick, so it was not 100% sure at first she wanted to start the race. But then she decided to start because it was the last race of the season for her. I gave it a really hard last lap. I made up four spots. So I think I, I made that goal. Well, I always want more. Having the elite national title, taking it into into Worlds this weekend, it's, it means a lot. It's qu quite cool to to have that. It's just it just gives me a lot of motivation for it. I mean, I'd really like to to podium. Um, I think it's possible, but if I'm top five, then yeah, not a massive expectation coming into it because I am still a first year. I'm still 18, so yeah, I'm just trying to hold that for for the whole race and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, obviously I would have loved to have won, but Sharon was the, the outright favourite going into it, and she rode, yeah, a flawless race and everything like that, so to come second as a first year in a 23, in my first, yeah, in the 23 Worlds, I've, I've got to be happy with it, and coming across the line, like coming up the finish straight for the final time, I was just like, I looked up and just took in the crowds, and it was just rows and rows of people, and yeah, it was just pretty cool. Zoe Buxett! Yeah, it was just amazing. She did what we expected from her, and it's really, it's really excited for the what's coming. What we have to do now is uh, like they have uh, both a little break, and then we go training already to the to the road, and then yeah, well, of course we're gonna do Omloop at Nieuwsblad. We're gonna do Gentwevelingen, but the most important I think for both riders is uh, Paris Roubaix.